Hello, music fans. Let's play a game, shall we? I heard about this uh, idea uh, when I was watching the Sea of Tranquility channel. They call it the Social Media Music Challenge. I guess some people are posting this on social media. And it's a series of prompts and questions uh, where you answer a band for the certain prompt. Um, the prompts on here are bands I hate, or band I hate, band that is overrated, band that is underrated, band I love, band I can listen to over and over, band that made me fall in love with music, band that changed my life, band that surprised me, guilty pleasure band, band I should have seen live but haven't, and favorite band to see live. So how many prompts is that? It's like 11. Yeah, 11 prompts. I'll post them in the in the description if I remember so you can play along too. Uh, feel free to post yours in the comments. Here's just my quick hot takes on them. I'll start with band I hate. And this is kind of tough because I don't really hate many bands. If I don't enjoy their music, I just tend to ignore them. Um, but some of the bands that I see pop up on the internet is the most hated. I, I can understand why. So I just kind of wrote down a few bands here. Nickelback. I do not get why they're so popular. They're pretty lame and boring rock. Well, I wouldn't say I hate them. Like they're not that terrible. I just, I just don't get it. Uh, Limp Biscuit, not a fan. And Insane Clown Posse. Those are just kind of a few that I wrote down off the, off the cuff here. Like I said, I don't really hate them, I just ignore them. Band that is overrated. This is kind of different because I don't dislike the music by these bands. I'm going to mention two. I, I'm kind of cheating and not just giving one answer to each question. But a band that is overrated. The first one that came to mind for me is the Rolling Stones. I see and hear them being compared to the Beatles, which I think the Beatles are great, but the Rolling Stones to me is pretty straightforward, pretty typical, generic rock. Some of their songs are decent, but they were never that interesting to me. And the runner up here in band that is overrated, I'm going to go with U2. Um, they're just super popular and Again, not terrible, but pretty plain, uh, standard, kind of boring rock. The Rolling Stones and U2, overrated. Band that is underrated. I'm going to mention a Canadian band called Choke. They're a punk band, and I don't think very many people know about them, but they're really awesome. My runner-up here is going to be another Canadian band called The Kindred. Uh, they released an amazing album called Life in Lucidity and they used to be called Today I Caught the Plague and they released an awesome album under that name as well called Lore. So I'd say Choke and The Kindred are underrated. There's definitely more underrated bands but those are the two that popped into my mind first. And a band that I love is Between the Buried and Me. I love all their albums and they are very progressive, very heavy, adventurous, lots of uh, virtuosic playing and riffs and shredding and madness going on. Um, also a lot of cool, like beautiful atmospheric passages. Uh, so they have a really solid and consistent discography and just love seeing them live as well. Band I can listen to over and over. Uh, for this, I'm going to mention bands that change their style often because I feel like if I'm going to listen to a band over and over again I don't want them to always sound the same. So the first one that comes to mind is Thrice. They started off as like post-hardcore screamo and then kind of moved into some more experimental rock and alternative rock, indie rock, folk kind of sounds later and now are just kind of more of a hard rock band. Um, not so much screamo anymore. So they've got a lot of different vibes that they've 
that they have. So I want to put them here in band. I can listen to it over and over. My runners up here are going to be He Is Legend, who released an awesome album this year, uh, really recently, called Endless Hallway. And every album they release is great, so I can listen to them over and over. And they've similarly evolved from like post-hardcore to hard rock, just like Thrice. And they've got more of that like southern and sludge flavor in there. And lastly, band I can listen to over and over again. It's not a band, it's a person, and it's Devin Townsend, and he changes his style a lot. He was strapping young lad. He was pretty extreme metal. Um, but on his, his solo albums, it's a lot of prog rock, some prog metal. He has an ambient, well, several ambient ones, kind of a new age meditation music one with uh, ghost and then he has this country rock project casualties of cool um he's done a lot of a lot of styles so if you get bored of one style you can listen to another one now a band that made me fall in love with music for this i'm going to go with system of a down i liked music before system of a down uh, but i discovered them in i think maybe ninth grade um, before that, I liked maybe Eminem and like Avril Lavigne. I liked Eminem and some rap and some pop punk, Avril Lavigne, Sum 41, Blink-182. Uh, I still liked music, but it was more of just, I was a listener, kind of casual, didn't listen to full albums as much, except for Eminem. Um, maybe Avril Lavigne, I listened to full albums. Uh, but when System of a Down came around, it made me not just like listening to music, it made me really want to play music, and I wanted to learn all their songs and guitar, so I'm going to go with them as the band that made me fall in love with music. Band that changed my life, I could say System of a Down again because of that, but I'm going to say Protest the Hero, because that really got me into more progressive metal music, which is now my favorite genre, and it really helped me improve my guitar playing when I was learning protest the hero songs because they're very difficult to play and I've seen them live more than any other band uh, so they've just influenced my musical tastes and my experiences of, of live music a lot of bands that I saw them play with I started liking those bands so I'm gonna go with protest the hero band that surprised me Opeth when they released Heritage and changed their sound, uh, got rid of the death growls and never went back. That was a surprise to me. I like both styles. I still like their progressive death metal stuff from earlier, and I like their newer, softer, progressive rock stuff as well. Uh, guilty Pleasures. I'm gonna say I'm not really that guilty about anything that I like. Uh, but a pop favorite of mine would be Lights, a Canadian pop star, and she's great and makes a lot of really catchy songs and albums. And my runner-ups for Guilty Pleasures, some silly cheesy power metal like Dragon Force I like, um, and then the pop punk stuff I mentioned like Green Day, Blink-182, Sum 41, Avril Lavigne. Um, it's probably not cool for prog metal and prog rock fans to like that, but I find some of it good. Not all of it, but some of the stuff that those artists release are, are pretty good. And band that I should have seen live but haven't, I'll say Rush. And now, unfortunately, with Neil Peart um, no longer with us, I won't be able to see Rush live ever. Um, but it would have been great to see them live. And my runner up here would be the human abstract. They seem to have just kind of disappeared off the face of the earth and maybe we'll never make another album or tour again. They made three great albums and would have loved to have seen them live. And favorite band to see live, I'll say three bands here because it's hard to pick one. Uh, Tool is one of them. They're always great. Um, I think I've only seen them live once, but it was it was great like Maynard's vocal performance is amazing the performances by each band member is just great and then uh, the Dillinger escape plan probably if I had to pick one that's like 
the most exciting band to see live. Their math core are just crazy and their stage antics are, are insane with jumping on amps and like throwing their guitars and stage diving into the audience while they're playing guitar and climbing up really high into the rafters and crazy stuff like that and just really energetic, spastic, chaotic music. And last favorite band to see live, I'll say The Contortionist. I like listening to their music on their albums, but seeing them live just brings it to a whole new level. Uh, they're a really, really great band to see live. And those are my answers for this social media music challenge idea that I heard on Sea of Tranquility channel. Uh, let me know if, uh, let me know your answers or what you think of mine down in the comments. Until next time, peace out.